My name is Bona Penja. Welcome to our ICT class. Today, we are going to look at the introduction to ICT. ICT means Information Communication Technology. Technology has played a big role in our lives. For example, in matters of security, in matters of development in our industries, in matters of development in our health sector, and other areas of our lives. For example, in the prevention of crimes, information communication technology plays a big role, especially with the policing agents. For example, agencies, for example, sharing of information. When I cry, has happened somewhere, it is possible to share information by use of uh, information communication technology. It is quite easy because nowadays we have mobiles. So with those mobiles, one can easily share information with other people where maybe the robbers have run to that he, such a such and such a people is coming, beware, beware, those are criminals. Therefore, use all possible means to arrest them. So sharing information has become key in the prevention of crime by use of information communication technology. Also, for example, in the matters of forgery, we can use the information communication technology to find out whether somebody is cheating or whether somebody is posting a sample test, when is somebody test, by use of biometrics. And biometrics works in this way. You see, it's based on individual characteristics say the eyes, fingerprints, all that can be used to detect if somebody is not the person that he claims to be. Fingerprints will never match with any other person's fingerprints. So such a science comes in handy by use of who? ICT. Also, ICT has gone very, very, very far at mapping certain areas, certain areas that may be, may be suspected of being uh, <coughs> prone to crimes. So ICT can even come in also to help in mapping that area. So that if anybody is seen there, it is possible to arrest that person. Because the placement might have CCTV. So anybody going there will be seen. Or anybody intending to, to, to commit a crime, uh, walking, maybe is having a gun. Very far away, this person will be seen. And the operators of that computer CCTV will have to report and this person will be arrested quite easy. So you'll find that even in mapping certain areas, ICT comes in very, very, very handy. Uh, also, there's some in information technology, you will see you find it in the media. Media nowadays like, uh, is very advanced. Media is very advanced. 
and it's advanced, advanced because of the application of ICD. Anything happening somewhere can be reported quite easily and timely. Therefore, we find that ICT tends to work in all aspects of our lives. We find ICT is really helping to protect lives, to protect lives, to protect property. Uh, also in the hospitals. Nowadays in the hospitals, uh, ICT comes in very handy. For example, uh, when they maybe uh, they want to, to detect virus, some certain virus in the blood, you find that they will be using some technologies to detect those virus. It's quite easy. Uh, like in the past, where maybe they were just using some good items, but in, nowadays it is very fast. In the past, people are just using glasses uh, with naked eyes. I, it was cumbersome to detect certain viruses. Uh, in the past, as opposed to the present. Also, security surveillance. Our roads nowadays. So many installations of CCTV have been put up so that any, any accident happening anywhere, it can easily be seen and it can easily be, be determined as who, who was the cause of the, the accident. It's quite easy because of the CCTV on our roads especially in our times, our times like in Nairobi city, you find that they are all over the place and they can help in the reduction of bad states, can also help in the prevention of crimes, and it can also help in, in one getting justice because, for example, if one is one cause the accident, it is possible for those people watching the system to know exactly who was the culprit against the other. So you see that ICT is everywhere around us. It's everywhere around us. Even in our education system. Even in our education system. Like now, I'm teaching you through video. And all that is me is because it's thanks to ICT, it's because of the ICT technology. These technologies are making it possible for me to communicate with you far away from a place called Kenya. I'm communicating with somebody in South Africa, somebody in Malawi, which in the past was not possible. But now with the assistance of uh, ICT, things have, been, have become much easier. Things, learning has become much easier compared to, to the past. Uh, even in the government, the government uh, way back it used to run manually, but now we have installations of of ICT everywhere in government departments. And in that way, the government is able to function correctly and very fast. And very fast. Whatever information they want can be caught by real time, quite easily. 
quite quite easily and like in the past. So you find that the government comprises so many departments, so many sectors. And if it were not for ICT, work would have been very difficult. To, serve, to render services would have been very difficult for the government to do. But now, right now, with the advancement, with the, the development of technologies, information technologies, the government is able to function properly with the swiftness that is supposed to do, that we, th we think it should be. Everything works swiftly, unlike in the past. It responds to issues quite easily. For example, if people are not to, to register for an ID card, it would take ages for that such a single functions to be integrated in the system. But right now, it is quite easy. You can get your ID within even one week or even, or even less than that because of the efficiency of ICT. However, ICT has also its disadvantages. For example, uh, whereby we are maybe as a farm employed a hundred people, but with the introduction of ICT, you will find that uh, not many people will be employed in the said farm. So it has led also to the downsizing of employees. Now, because of, of that, farms need very few people, and uh, in that way, it causes delay. Other people will have to be laid up, will be laid off from their employment. And maybe such a people, or such a people are breadwinners for their families. And because of the introduction of technology, others will lose jobs. But in the long run, production will increase and it will create other jobs again. So you, 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 you find that uh, information technology plays a big, a big role and to, add, and to our advantage as well in, in, in our day-to-day -day activities. Without information technology, uh, we would not be where we are today. It has made things which in the past appeared uh, difficult to be easier as compared to the past. Um, also, the, the other advantage with the ICT is that, you know, in any organization, for example, a business organization, a business organization is not run on a monopoly basis. It has also competitors. So you see, sometimes information uh, people may retrieve information quite quite easily, quite easily from from other 
computers or on the net. So you will find that there will be no, there will be no what? There will be no confidentiality. So with those few words, uh, my good students, I want you to, 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 to make your own research and improve on what I've taught. Bye bye for now. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye.